You can see signs of devastation and destruction all over the city of Paradise. And for the people who live and work here, the day the campfire started is a day many of them will never forget. And some are getting a permanent reminder of just how strong this community has become. Something to remember the day by and to remind myself to live every day like it could be my last. All I can do is try to help out by doing tattoos. The simple black lines hold a lot of meaning. This date says November 8th, 2018, which is a day, I guess, in a lot of ways that I start living as a different person. November 8th started off as a normal day as registered nurse Tamara Ferguson made her way to Feather River Hospital. And it was going to be my Friday and then I would have a few days off. Not long into her shift, black smoke started getting closer to the hospital. I picked up the phone and it said, uh, prepare your patients for evacuation. Flames from the campfire were getting close as nurses and doctors rushed to get their patients out safely. And by the time we got in the ambulance and started moving, I could see flames all around me. Now it wasn't just smoke, like you could see it in the distance, but now it was just right around you. The flames were so intense, the ambulance leading the way caught fire. They made the call to stop at a house about a mile from the hospital. It hadn't caught fire yet. From all over the Ferguson hospital. and other first responders moved the patients into the garage. I don't know if I was trying to convince myself, but I would just keep telling them, like, we're going to be fine, we're going to be fine. Ferguson and the other nurses took instructions from firefighters, grabbing shovels and rakes, trying to keep flames as far away from the house as possible. That became my focus. Is if you're going to die, you're going to die being a nurse and you're going to do your best. And if you have a chance of living, then this is your chance. Eventually, they made their way back to the hospital before safely evacuating to Chico. The most terrifying and also, I don't know, miraculous day of my life. The simple black lines hold a story Ferguson will never forget. This tattoo is next to my RN stethoscope, so I feel like it's, it ties it together of what happened that day and what I'm what I'm supposed to do. In Chico, Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.